Good evening, we're here at Little Sunshine Playhouse and Preschool. My name is Kate Allstad. I'm one of the co-owners of St. Louis Moms Blog. We have our writer Katie here, who's gonna be taking the tour with us, and Mary Moore, who is the director here as well. Um, we wanted to show you the outside because it's so adorable. <laughs> it looks like a castle. So, yes. thank you. Yeah, we love, we love our school and our location here in New City um, as well. So a little bit about us as, as Little Sunshine's background information. So after that, she realized that the service that she was able to provide that community was so vast and there, there was a need for quality early childhood education. So um, she started Little Sunshine's in 2002 and it spread throughout our nation and, and is what we are today. And so um, we're thankful for our U City location and those that are going to be popping up around um, St. Louis area and, and one coming up in O'Fallon. Another fun thing about our uh, pret a so um, in the morning time from 7.30 to 8.30 we do a red carpet service. So that helps with some drop-offs of some kiddos. So um, if they um, sometimes have that trouble of saying goodbye in the classroom, we're able to have one of our leadership team members, and that's one of my favorite things in the morning, to come out and, and welcome our kids um, and have them come from the car and we bring them right in. So it's a nice quick drop-off for parents Perfect. that we're able to do right under here. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> great. with our corporate team but also seeing it in our lobby too and you said you can log in to see it like from your home computer or your work computer as well um so unfortunately that is not an option so it is phased out we are um it's only alive here at the, okay. the school or um at our corporate team got too. it yes got it mm -hmm. yeah um it's also really fun for on um, fridays um, i'm going to tell you guys um fridays we'll have a dance party so our calm music is playing throughout every day but on fridays it, we switch it up and it kids stop and are like, is this right? Is this okay? And then they start jamming to the, the fun beat. So oh, it's just a fun, fun like little glimpse of our whole school in those moments. It's really neat. Very yeah. fun. All right, so we head this way to um, one of our infant classrooms. And you make all the snacks and the food on site. Yes, we do. So we're passing by our kitchen right now. So we um, serve breakfast, lunch, and an afternoon snack every day to our kiddos. Um, and we like to say that our menu is healthy but approachable, so that they're getting the nutrients they need without any of those added sugars and, and the sweets. And we're also a nut-free school, too, so Excellent. to help with those common allergies for the little guys. Excellent. Yeah. Can you tell us about this area? Oh, sure. Here is so cute. Yeah, so this is our pre-K enrichment class. And um, Ms. Tori works alongside of our pre-K class. Um, and it's, now it's a smaller group each each day of the week to either work on skills that they're either struggling with or if they've mastered a kindergarten readiness skill, we want them to keep going and keep getting challenged. So she'll keep that, that progress going. Excellent. This way, um, with our infants, we um, do have a more individualized schedule for them um, to help with the transition from home to school. Yes, in here is one of our fantastic Sunny Reform classrooms. Um, their, their schedule is, is very unique to the, the kiddo, and um, 
while I do have a curriculum, even at this age, um, the teachers find those moments to um, do art projects with the kiddos and have them with that um, sensory exploration and um, even work on sign language since they don't have all of their words just yet. So they're able to communicate without, without their verbal words. So it's great to have them, them working on that with the kiddos. Yes. Um, with that individualized schedule too, um, we log every sort of diaper change and feeding, as well as naps. So um, you guys get to see um, in the evening time as parents um, what to expect <laughs> for, for what the rest of your night will look like since we're logging all of that here at the school. Excellent. So we can head on to our toddler class. Is this the infant art work on this So other? this is some of it, yes. So all of it is getting displayed in the classroom, but we had a fantastic teacher want to also project this on the outer wall and jazz it up a bit too. So yes. cute. Yeah, <laughs> we love it very much to do. Hand print and footprint art is, is always a cute project, but the kids love the feel. And also you find the kids that don't love the feel of painting and tune and figure out what, what works for them. What are these frames outside of the classrooms here? Yes, yeah, so this is an iPad um, that's outside of each of our classrooms for parents to um, log their child in, saying that they're signed in each day, but also in the evening time, um, sign them out so that we have a good um, system at the front desk to see all of our, our children who are in attendance in case of an emergency, so we have, we have that attendance log ready for us. How many infant classrooms do you have here? Oh yes, so we do have three infant classrooms and then also three toddler classrooms that they kind of filter into. Um, and with each of our infant and toddlers, we go along with the state ratio of having the four kiddos to one teacher with no more than eight in a class with no less than the two teachers too. Excellent, and it starts at about six weeks here and goes to one in the infant room about? Yep, just about. So um, we, we do start as young as six weeks um, and then we go up to as old as six years throughout our whole program and then as a child transitions and they start hitting those developmental milestones, we'll be able to have conversations with families about transitioning to a toddler class. Excellent. So, yep. Excellent. Yes, yes, perfect. So um, one of the major things with infants and toddlers um, especially is just the sanitation um, aspect of our classrooms. So making sure that um, with them exploring toys with their mouth and, and then taking it out and sharing that. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to prevent any of those illnesses and germs. So um, we do have a three-step system of wash, rinsing, and sanitize with a bleach water mixture that's all safe for the kiddos. It gets tested every day. So um, it helps keep everything clean and sanitized throughout the day. Excellent. Yes. yes. Excellent. So with sick kids, is there a sick kid policy here? There is, yes. So we do. Oh, come on in. Um, we do have our sick child policy, so anything for like a fever that's over 100 or um, any like vomiting or loose bands, we do send a child home and we'll call parents and let them know about it. Um, and so when they do go home and are welcome back after 24 hours symptom free or with a doctor's note saying that they're not contagious. So if it just happens to be an earache or something and they're okay to come back, we love our kiddos to stay here as long as possible. So, yeah. So here's one of our um, toddler classrooms, Treasure Island. Um, so in here, um, their schedule's a little bit more um, structured and have that group focus. So developmentally, they've all gone on to um, more of a meal time of a breakfast, lunch, and afternoon snack meal. And they also have a longer um, nap time in the middle of the day versus in the infant room where it's sporadic throughout the day. So um, they're also sneaking in their curriculum time, but it's more of that group time too. So introduction of letters and colors and shapes and continuing on with their words and, and having that focus because they are ready to learn and parrot everything so they'll they'll get there and, and work on that too. Excellent. So you head this way outside to our playground. We love having all the activity and the excitement throughout the day. Here is our um, playground. Um, we have our twos and older side here, and our infants and toddlers are on the other side of our fence. Um, but out here we'll have um, our bike path with tricycles, and the kids um, wear helmets, and they also practice sharing and making sure that other friends have helmets on. So Good our call. kids, yeah, Good our call. kids do a really great job helping us make sure each other is safe. And, Excellent. And so, yeah. I love this cushy astroturf that we're standing on. The 
well. Yes, so do we. Um, it stays nice and pretty all year round, but it also um, helps prevent any of those major injuries of just Fabulous. typical falls that all kiddos sure, and, and adults sure. do. So yeah. <laughs> we need this at home. I right? <laughs> That's what I say too when we're outside running and I like stumble, I go, glad we have this. Yeah. This cap is so cute. Right. <laughs> Such a great idea. Yeah, we had one of our classrooms um, want to make it into more of like a track, so they started putting like the tape down and so. Part of uh, just letting the kiddos be creative and having that ownership over their learning too. So, um, if they have an idea that they want to do a project, we want to help facilitate that excitement and creativity for, for learning because it's so fun to a, be a kid, but also just to explore the world in such a unique way. So, for sure. yes. Um, so we have our awesome treehouse as well. I adore it and um, often run and play, and we see even in the summertime parents come in a little early to pick up so that they could run and slide down the slide too. So I mean, I would slide down the slide. <laughs> right? It's such an exciting part. Um, we take our curriculum out as much as possible um, and we also allow for free play because um, just having that creativity and that imagination is very important. Um, but um, also with our St. Louis heat, sometimes we're not always able to go out for as long as possible. So we go along with state guidelines about what's appropriate for different ages and let the kiddos explore as, as often as we can, even in those intimate weather times. I saw so. that you had water fountains outside too. We do, perfect. which is, yes. I drink it as key. <laughs> exactly, yes. When we see those red cheeks, we know it's time to get that water in. And, and while it's fun to play, we also can play and explore inside, cool off, and then come back out when it's a little bit better out. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Excellent. So next we can head to our early preschool classroom. Is this the play area for the little kids oh, over yeah. here? Yes, it is, yes. So our infants and toddlers play on this side um, with their in more age-appropriate time, too. Excellent. Another fun feature that we do offer families are our love note systems. So uh, while we do always create curriculum and send snapshots of what our game plan is for the day to families, um, there is a note that's sent midday because with kids, something always will change and always have a different um, different exploration that they might so have sparked. True. So um, we'll be able to send that love note where um, teachers give what actually happened during the day as well as um, the distinctive um, the temperaments of the child too. Excellent. So, yeah. Excellent. A picture and video is also attached to have that nice little also boost of, of excitement and having that connection with our families as well. So yeah. That's comforting, especially if you're dropping off your very first child here. Oh, right, yeah. It's, it's just one of those fantastic ways that we're able to communicate with families because sometimes drop-offs need to be quick because you're getting to work, but also sure. pickups too if a child's a little sleepy. It's hard to always talk to, to families, so those notes give a real real insight to what your child's day was like. So even while That's you're awesome. away, you'll be able to see what's up. So and parents excellent. can communicate back and forth with the teachers should they need to? Yes, yeah, there is a direct message that they're able to um, send a little note whether they forgot a bottle time or wanted to send a special note about maybe how an evening was. So yes, yeah, so we're able to communicate with, with families directly to the teachers too. Mm -hmm. Yes, continuing their learning of those letters, colors, shapes, um, but also a little bit more on that phonics behind it all and how to use um, a utensil for handwriting. And um, now it's about that time where they're started to be interested in potty training and showing the signs of being ready for that. So a lot happens in this age group, but they're, yeah, they're very ready for it. There's bathrooms in each classroom? There is, yes. Excellent. There's cute, adorable little potties that are <laughs> that the kiddos are able to um, sit in and do what they need to do. And also it helps um, with other kiddos as, as that transition happens for potty training. You're saying, hey, I see my friend going potty. Maybe I want to try that too. And so that's just kind of the age where peer pressure is, is an okay <laughs> thing. Um, since they're getting excited and wanting to do the, the fun uh, milestones that their other friends are doing too. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Way for our preschool wings. So I like to have. 
highlight um, just our staff um, as well as our specialty classes that we do offer. So our staff is a fantastic, uh, diverse group of teachers who are extremely qualified and passionate about early childhood because um, you can just see them get excited and think about ways to improve all their kiddos and also um, when their, their child gets that light bulb moment, oh my goodness, having that reaction from a teacher just warms my heart too. So yes, we have a nice diverse group of um, friends who are teachers who um, have a differences in variety of experience level, but also in education too. So, yep. We also um, are all CPR and first aid certified. Perfect. And that gets renewed each year just to stay up on top of best practices for that in case of an emergency and a knock on all the wood. Sure. So <laughs> that works safe on well, that. That's yeah. comforting too. Yeah. Just that someone who's taking care of your child knows what to do in emergency. Yep. Attack. Yep. So we're ready for it. And we're also ready on how to prevent things like that as well. So Excellent. we don't get to that point. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yes. <laughs> um, so each week too, we offer um, our kiddos uh, some special classes. Here in particular, we offer music and art and um, sports and games. So we have a special um, teacher for each of those classes that are able to go into a classroom, work on a more extensive project with the class, and, and explore that too. Very fun. Yes. So our last and final classroom, our biggest kids in the school. Did I see that it's called the Land of Oz? It is Land of Oz, Oz. right? <laughs> so in here, uh, they are, it's a pre-K um, classroom, so they are working on kindergarten readiness and getting that kickstart and comfortable uh, with their, their learning in that too. So um, they have a little bit deeper knowledge of just the, um, the phonics behind it and the early readers and sounding out words, but also they're learning simple addition and simple subtraction and, and wow. counting. And, oh, these kids That's are amazing. ready, right? They, Excellent. And it's really all organic because they're very interested and they realize like, oh, there's two over there and there's two over here and then I'm gonna put them in a pile and it's four. So it's all very organic are wanting to, to learn it, so our awesome. teachers are soaking that in and developing the curriculum that goes along with that too. That's amazing. Right? <laughs> Very cool. Yes, and so um, it does also have a little bit of elements of what they'll see in kindergarten, so they'll have um, like a workbook time and a journaling time too, so that they'll um, get used to that um, sitting at a table and working on a special project, but we all very much still learn through play since play is the, the child's work. So Very true. Yeah. Great, so that was about like six years of a child's life and maybe about <laughs> 10 minutes. So I know very, very extensive and all of that. So right. um, if there are any other like questions in particular, um, I'd be happy to answer it too. Or if it's specific to our school, I know that um, we'll be able to answer um, any emails that come my way. So you're welcome to email U City questions to me um, at marym at littlesunshine.com. Or if it is about our O'Fallon location, it go to, go to admissions at littlesunshine.com. So we'd be happy to answer any specifics unless there's some, some you have now. We'll put all that information on our site as well so that you don't have to remember it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it easier too. Yeah. Right, right. Well, wonderful. Well, we loved touring. Thank you for giving us the grand tour. Oh, yes, and I'm so so much. Us in here. Yes, of course. I'm glad that you guys were able to come, and I appreciate you guys taking the time this evening to do it with us. So thank you, thank you guys too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.